So thank you for the giving us the time to present this. And it seems like uh, I'm the only one with the tangible item over here. <laughs> so basically, TAS stands for Technology Application Security and Certification. So that's in our name. Uh, we started the company as an IT training and uh, software development company. But later on, we added uh, this uh, cyber security and a physical security solution. Uh, these are some of, uh, just giving you the background of the company, the, some of the contract vehicles that we have. Uh, one of the important vehicles that we had, which helped us a lot in this area, was the Virginia Economic Development Partnership International Trade. We were part of the Valley program and they helped us a lot with a uh, lot of shows and international shows. So we are very grateful to them and they had some funding for us, which helped us a lot. So basically what we are trying to solve is, uh, you know, scanning a vehicle and we developed a scanner for it. Uh, vehicles nowadays, are used for all kinds of stuff like weapons, crime, you know, act of terrorism. Even currently also, if you go to some major sites, they're still using mirror on a stick. They are trying to re record information, vehicle information manually, you know, the driver information is done manually. And, you know, they use canines. Uh, I, I work at the IRS sometimes and literally if I go the next day, they would not know <laughs> who came in and who came, went out of there. Uh, so the new technology that's coming into the market, although it's been around for the last 20 years, is the under vehicle scanning systems. Uh, currently also most of the scanning systems that are out there are based on like analog systems and uh, straight mirrors and they use like uh, the analog system normally are either NTSC or PAR and they use 30 frames per second to record and stitch and uh, the stitching uh, I don't want to get into if anybody has a question please ask me I don't want to get into too much technical but the stitching is normally done with frames that are captured or the stream that is captured from the cameras and they stitch it and make it into a single composite image of the under vehicle. And then that image is used to kind of uh, do comparisons if any changes or any item is under, un, unwanted item is underneath the vehicle, you know, and to give an alarm and all those kind of, uh, nice stuff to the guard. So we were in the international market and the US market, but uh, technology was changing so fast. And uh, especially in the international market, the other whammy was that the Chinese came into the market and literally they could compete at one third the price. So we thought, okay, let's sit back and think about this and see how we can solve this problem at a price and a cost that we can compete in the international market and in the US market. The challenge with this physical security arena is that the security requirement in the international market is completely different than what is required in the US market. The US market challenge is completely different. So we sat down and we literally thought out of the box and from a blank piece of paper, we designed a complete new system. We put in the patent and, it, and it's patent pending since 2000, October of 2020. And we could not market before that, so we had to market after that. Uh, 
do the marketing after that, sorry. Uh, we designed it by using a curved mirror, a convex mirror, which kind of uh, literally reduced the size of the units like to one third. Uh, let me go to the next slide and so, so this is, I'm just giving you some idea of, uh, sorry, uh, of like, this was our legacy system, our older system with uh, uh, analog cameras and uh, you can see all the four cameras and then we have to stitch it and do some uh, kind of uh, comparison and set up alarm. But the problem with this was that the vehicle could not go over this unit more than like two miles an hour or three miles. Otherwise, all this would become blur. And the stitching, the problem with the stitching was that you had to do an X and Y stitching. So it required a lot of resources and, you know, to even do a single stitch. And this is our new system. So this is with the convex mirror with all LED lighting and, you know, and, and th this is really the stitch which has come out of the system compared to stitch, this stitch that came out of the system. So you can see the clarity and the high resolution of the stitched image. So, the previous system or the old system, they were really very cumbersome and very heavy and they required a lot of uh, civil work before they could be installed. But we came up with a unit that the same unit is used for an in-ground system and above-ground fix and portable units. We are just delivering some units to Minnesota National Guards, Air Guards, which they're gonna run off a truck power supply to scan the service gates uh, at that uh, base uh, with uh, like 18, 18 wheelers. Then again, uh, the system, the way it has been designed, it's like, uh, we can integrate anyone's API. We're using the latest uh, Microsoft technologies and uh, other, you know, Python and all. We can do facial recognition. We can do biometric capture. We can use biometric capture devices. We also have a automatic license plate reader so what that does is it captures the image of the license plate. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got the AI built into it. As soon as the vehicle approaches the camera, it captures the plate and analyzes the image and converts it to OCR, which we uh, recorded into a SQL database to kind of, uh, and use it as a primary uh, index key. Then again, the camera that we are using is a FLIR camera, which goes up to 900 frames per second, which has kind of uh, increased the vehicle uh, speeds of up to 20 miles per hour or 35 kilometers per hour. And with the newest or latest computer technology, we have enough resources that we can do image comparisons to see any differences or any objects which are uh, underneath the vehicle in real, in near real time, and it's like instant. It hardly takes like a couple of milliseconds to do the comparison. And with the latest software or release, we can even identify the make, model, and color of the vehicle uh, for recording purposes. So these are some of the like uh, the automatic license plate plate reader we provided in both infrared and white. Uh, this, this can capture anything in the dark, literally at 80 miles per hour. Uh, the only problem, we, we came out with a new system with white LED because 
with infrared, most of the red colors would become a blob, especially with North Carolina plates, it would just become a blob. So then it's based on the SQL server. There are standard reports in there, you know, who came in, who went out, how much time they spend in the, in this, in the base or in that area. Uh, uh, they can also do custom reporting. They can do ad hoc reporting based on, they can write SQL. Then the biometric readers, we, we integrated with RFID. We can read driver licenses, uh, convert it to OCR and populate the database. We have fingerprint readers. Uh, we have come up with a special way of capturing uh, drivers and passengers, uh, literally through dark tinted glass, uh, especially uh, internationally in the Middle East and all that, they, because it's very hot, they have literally very dark tinted glass. A normal camera cannot capture it. Then uh, we can do any um, language, by language over here, I mean like, any, any language that Microsoft supports, we can do the interface in. The uses are, you know, normally Customs and Border Patrol, vehicle checkpoints, uh, essential infrastructures, government commercial, high value assets like nuclear plants and, uh, you know, culture and sport arenas, and whatever you can think of, I guess. And this is what we bring to the table. Uh, so this is it. Uh, any questions, please? Uh, 